Hey everyone, welcome back to the Deep Charts channel. I'm going to give you an overview of how I built this Streamlit app. The app lets you search any location on Earth and then within seconds create a topographic ridge map. Here's an example map of Mount St. Helens in Washington State. It also has a bunch of advanced options that allow you to customize the look of the map. I built this Streamlit app using the Python Ridge Map Library. If you just want to programmatically code this map without the Streamlit interface, I put a link in the video description below to a step-by-step -step tutorial. But today I'm going to give an overview of how I created the app, pointing out the key elements that are necessary. The app is about 75 lines of code, and while occasionally complex, is still accessible to beginners. Let's start by looking at the overall structure of the app. I have three main sections. First, the importing of necessary libraries. Second, the main functions, which here just consists of a single ridge map plotting function. Finally, the layout of the app, which consists of the sidebar and the main content area. The code in the layout is set up in a linear fashion, ensuring that all variables created by interactive sliders in the user interface come before the functions that they go into. We'll start by importing the necessary libraries listed here. Make sure to download any missing libraries through pip if they are not in your Python environment. Next, we need to add a custom key function that plots the final ridge map. The plot ridge map function takes the parameters that will customize the ridge map. These will be chosen by the user of the app, either from choosing a location with the map or from sliders that will be placed on the left sidebar. If you want to understand the plot ridge map function further, check out my other video, which is specifically about creating ridge maps. I have linked to it in the description below. What I will point out here is that the final output comes from the st.pyplot function, which takes in a matplotlibpyplot variable and outputs the final map. We can now move on to the layout of the app. I start by setting the layout of the app to wide and then begin by setting up the sliders for the user to control in the interface. First, I use the st.sidebar.txt input function to allow the users to add a title to their map. I then use the st.sidebar.slider function, which first takes a label name and then takes the minimum value, the maximum value, and the starting value. This is repeated for each of the parameters that will be connected to the plot ridge map function that was created above. We next move on to the main content area. I first create a title with the st.title function, and then additional descriptive text using the st.write and st.header functions. We next add a set of default coordinates to center the map viewer using the Folium library. After creating the map with the folium.map function, we put the declared variable through the stfolium function to make the map compatible and viewable in Streamlit. This next block of code is responsible for extracting the bounding box or bbox coordinates from the current view of the map displayed in the app. It starts by declaring our default coordinates, but if the output variable exists, which we defined previously with the stfolium function, then it extracts the southwest and northeast coordinates of the viewable area. Finally, the last section of the code takes all the inputs that the user has defined and places them into the plot ridge map function. This includes the B box that was created as well as slider parameters. The plotting function is nested underneath an if statement that comprises of a button. This means that the output of the plot ridge map function will only appear if the button is pressed. With the code complete, I can now run the Streamlit app locally on my computer or alternatively deploy it online. The full app that I walked through today is up on the Streamlit Community Cloud, and I've placed the link in the video description. If you found this code walkthrough helpful, comment, like, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more Python web app and data science videos.